So here we are, we're at the final episode of this first series of the Codes of Avalon. And I just, oh my goodness, and today uh, a really special, potent conversation about sacred rage and committing ourselves to the path. And something, I think there's a lot in here that I think we can all relate to. This conversation is the conversation that needs to be had when we are talking about creating a new earth. That embodied, the embodied action that needs to take place to create a new earth, this conversation is one of the foundational starting points. So it's an honor to present it to you and I hope you enjoy the final episode, episode eight of the Codes of Avalon. I feel like, so the question that was coming up while you were saying that, that I was hearing at least, in a, it, and this is in a practical, grounded, human way, but like how willing are we to commit to creating the new earth, genuinely? Like how committed are we to creating this reality? How committed are we to using our magic and our essences and our hearts to actually create it and not wait for it to yeah. drop in or anchor in? But how willing are we to decide to be clear? Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to say sober, but just like clear yeah. learning in our magic and like how willing are we to actually create that in our physical reality? How willing are we to believe and to anchor the new earth in truth? Yeah. It is what I was hearing while you were saying that. It's like, it, it's bringing these almost, almost magical ideas of this beautiful new earth realm. And it makes, you know, I get chills sometimes when I hear about it and it resonates as truth. And it seems like such, but it's, it's, it's the energy shifting of like waiting for it to anchor in or waiting for other people to do it or yeah. waiting for an energy alignment to start to, to step into this, to like this new world and how willing are we to anchor it in our human bodies on our, on earth and like alongside the reality that we grew up in. Yeah. I think that feels like the question to me yes. is, um, is bringing it almost from this fantasy to, flesh and blood mm -hmm. and it is fantasy but but not in like a yeah but like like how willing are we to actually create the new earth yeah I love that you use the word fantasy I was um I don't know I was reading some sort of business thing that I get on like I don't know one of the softwares that I use <laughs> and um this is not like a new age email this was like a straightforward like business strategy email but they were talking about fantasy and creating fantasy mm -hmm. and um and it really stuck with me i was like yeah let's do that let's create some fantasy and then just step into it you know like i think mm -hmm. that that's like that's the beautiful opportunity of being here and being able to be an artist of our own lives is like to create those visions and then like step into them yeah you know um, and that's magical right there. That's like a, that's, that's a lot of magic, um, to see something and then to step into it and create something totally new. I feel like, and that's something that I am like working with right now. And I say fantasy and like, I'm the one using fantasy and here I am connecting with like multi-dimensional guy and beings of our planet that are maybe more fairy tale like or, or whatever in essence, but like I have a vision of how I see my new earth reality kind of, and starting to take step, steps forward to yeah. create that in a physical way. Yeah. But I'm not committed yet though. I'm realizing that right now as we're talking, I'm not actually, I'm like kind of dabbling yeah. in a powerful way, but I'm like dabbling and then I like come back and I can go to my really sweet, beautiful, let's say 40 job that I have and where I'm making jewelry and like have this beautiful studio and it's not like, I'm like weaving between the worlds. Yeah. But that is kind of the question. Like, and, and how much of our energy and our time space are we willing to dedicate to um, anchoring our vision of our, our peace mm -hmm. of this new reality that we want to create and how do we do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know for me, especially in summer, 
it's like just a lot of like creative downloads and I can sometimes, I almost sometimes feel like over downloaded, you know, like it's just like, this is a lot of, you know, I'm literally just like writing idea after idea, but then I get into a place where I'm like, okay, but what am I acting on? And like, what am I committed to? You know, I can bring these ideas through all day long, but like, which are the ones that fit together and then help one another. And so that's very, very like, timely for exactly where I'm at is just like staying in my own lane you know and if there's an idea that like comes to me and I'm like that I need to have the discretion of like that doesn't fit or that's not in alignment of like where I'm focused and where I'm going to go um, but at the same time like staying really open to to being guided and to like, well, maybe that will fit in later or whatever. And there's, I don't have to understand it all. One thing I want to mention, like where I've been this week is feeling a couple of things. So one thing that I had mentioned to you was like, I could feel how harsh I was being to myself in the past couple of videos, especially around when you're integrating such massive like codes and your energy is fluctuating and you're having a hard time being with your family and things like that. I was, I felt like I was being kind of harsh on myself and I could just, I was really softening and really kind of going into the darkness, but it was this very maternal like softness. Oh, you just froze for a second. Um, but something that happened a like the past couple of nights that I've like loved and kind of ties in with magic is I, was just taking a bath and was able to just drop into this, it feels kind of like this black stone almost. I just feel it like a smooth stone, but it's this energy inside of me that's just like me in a quantum way kind of. And I'm not trying to escape my feelings. I'm not trying to like silence my mind. I'm not trying to like do anything. It's just, I'm sitting in my essence and like just in me. Yeah. And then all things are able to come in and I can like hold them because I'm like sitting in me, my essence. And that's been coming. And what you were saying with the quantum field is that from there, I kind of dropped it down a little bit through the bath, through the apartment into the land and kind of started spreading my energy. And I started to feel the trees and I was starting to kind of connect with the air and starting to kind of feel um, the ground and was just like introducing my essence because I was anchored in it to the the land here and just this really powerful um, reminder of my like just my essence and that's something I've been going through especially with like these massive like not being able to sleep it's like yeah. crazy happening can't even think straight like yeah. just having a, a just just not trying to like meditate and silence my mind, but meditating into the essence of, of me. And it's this very calm space. And then I can just like hold, have the capacity to hold it all and to just like nurture it, which is really beautiful. Um, yeah. And also felt like that there's a, there's a root there that can kind of go deeper with like the essence of other things or being able to merge. I don't know. It's just stuff like that, but I wasn't ex interested in exploring it. I was like, I just wanted like be in me, like yeah. my. That's you know, so nourishing everything. Yeah, you're about, just like that is like the ultimate nourishment. It sounds so good. But it was funny because it wasn't like super loving energy. It just was like calm. Yeah. And still and still. Yeah. And like, oh yeah, I can like hold all these things and like. Yeah, and it's not an escape. Like I'm not trying to not feel what I'm going through. I just can see it with a calmer energy, and then I can see the really loving energy too. But it's yeah. not. That's not it. Yes, it's just like maybe it's like this quantum space. I don't know, but it just was yeah. like me. Yeah, I don't have the words for it, and yeah. it's been really helping me. Yeah, well, I do think that there's something. This is I for the, like the longest time I've been exploring this, right? Of like where we can observe our emotional body, right? Like, and you get to that place where it's just very, for me, it's like, I don't like go there enough. Like I, 
I'm glad that you shared that because I want to go to that space more where it's just more of the observer, right? And it's just this peaceful place. Um, that sounds so good. <laughs> sounds really good. And yeah, I'm glad you shared that. Yeah. yeah. I will say I was kind of traumatized with the whole um, spiritual, uh, the observer thing like watching your thoughts, being the observer. I like was, I got into that probably back in 2009. I read Eckhart Tolle. I read all the like mystic books. Yeah. I read all the text of the world's main religions. I went into poetry, the mystery schools. I read everything and yeah. like, like I just wove it all and read it all. And I was really in that space like a long time ago. Yeah. And all I did, I went to like war with my thoughts. I would like watch my thoughts and would be like, that's an ego thought. Or like, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. And I shut the door on spirituality for like a decade or like close to that. Like, I just was like, I don't want to watch the, I'm not going to be the observer. I don't want to like meditate. I don't want to go into the, the stillness, even though it's beautiful. It like was very traumatizing and very like masculine for me. Yeah. And so for me to step back into this, but it wasn't like intentionally trying to like get there. It just was like coming into my body exactly. and into my essence. Yeah. And then that was more, that's like, oh, this is like feminine surge. You know, it's more yes. like, like, I can access this. Well, I think, that, yeah, I don't think I can access that unless I am like deeply relaxed, yeah. like deeply held and deeply relaxed. That's like not, that's like not a state. Well, okay. I don't know. I'm getting a little feisty because I feel you on that. Okay. And um, yeah, it's a very natural, like yeah. unfolding. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you brought that in. Blossoming. Yeah. And it's very like feminine, yeah. not feminine, like human, like not like female, male, but just like a feminine. Yeah. Yeah, and I think a big part of that for me, and like, well, and it ties to what you just shared too, is like when we, when I can like create a like a really safe container for myself. So that's like the bathtub or like whatever, and like the door is closed, and I'm like held within like physical space in like a really um, comfortable, relaxed way, and that's like with the yeah. cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's really important for me for that to like work yeah um, yeah and I was feeling how it could be tied to magic too you know like when we are in our essence how we can access that that space yeah um, absolutely yeah. that's like yeah I want to go deeper into that personally yeah me too <laughs> because the way I've accessed magic is connecting through the essence of like the forest or something or like the mountains or the stones and the stones come in and are like and that like they're almost having me feel the, of the essence of me being an ancient stone like connecting with them they like bring the essence deep within my body oh. and then I feel like what that feels like yeah. and then I can get, like connect with them and then there's like um but d through doing that, I get to know my own essence deeper. And yeah. so that's how I've like deepened in, you could say magic, but is working with the elements and like working mm -hmm. with like coming to know this, 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 like this, I keep wanting to say quantum space, even though I don't actually really know what that means. It just feels really resonant for me. But the, that space of getting to know the elements and then being able to drop into that really safe space. I think what, what I meant earlier by like when I, when I talk about, quantum it's yeah. this like absence of um like the same rules with time and space uh, that's kind of what i mean or it's just like yeah like a different rules with space physical space and linear time it's just different different um rules and so um i guess that, that that's all i'm gonna say right now I, yeah yeah Different rules. I'll just stick with that today. <laughs> Good. I feel like I wasn't able to fully like. I think what you when you shared about magic, that was so powerful and like multidimensional in what you were transmitting. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wasn't able to completely like just in this moment talking with you completely 
conceptually grasp like all the elements of it, but I can feel what you were speaking about. And it's so powerful. And the part that just keeps coming up right now for me too is like, so one, we are all human. We are all so powerful and we all have access to this. Yeah. There are people who have tapped into that and are, have used that. Yeah. And for some reason, and I'm not really, you know, they don't usually go into that whole realm necessarily. Like the, I mean, I'm like aware of conspiracies and things like that or disclosure, but like, yeah, like that's happening right now, like right now on our, and like how that's so powerful. Yeah. Now I'm feeling like the lioness codes. This is like, maybe this is your essence. This like fierce. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this is you. This is like, Fears almost like, um, and it's me too, like rage or anger to like take those threads back and like yeah. reweave a new reality. Like how dare you exactly. go off, but like we gate, we like let this happen and like, yeah. you know, it's like all part of the game. But yeah. it's like I wanting to like pull those threads back or dissolve them yeah. and create new threads and create an entire new reality that can hold. I'm like feeling you right now. It's like, I know, it is. This- so real. It's like it's like rage, but it's like a sacred rage, and you're like pulling the threads back. The like you're you're taking the threads back, and you're reweaving mm-hmm. reality. And but you're not. But the sacred rage, it's the mother. It's not like this dark feminine. Um, it's no, like a. I mean, I guess it, yeah. it kind of all is, but it's like this mother. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, one of these like really sacred like things that I feel like came out of me that's very much I think every mother can kind of relate to this it's like your kids are fighting and like everything's kind of like going crazy and you just step in and you're like that's enough yeah that is enough of that and that's the energy where it's like okay yes it is enough you're right you know and it's just this very like <laughs> that's enough. This is, this is, this is insane, you know? And there, and so that's like, that's very much the, you know, and I think last, yeah. And I shared my story with Sekhmet coming in because she, I think she's really helping me sort of navigate um, the amount of anger and rape that is like, that is coming through me as I open myself up to seeing magic and now there's, there's like magic that I can see. Um, and I, I, yeah, I want to grab it. I want, I want, I want to drive, you know, there's like, there's that, that part. Um, and it's a very like revolutionary sort of feeling too. It's like this, you know, it's just like, I don't know, that's the best word that's coming to me right now it's like um it's just so epic too it's like it's kind of where like the underdog is just like i'm going i'm i'm gonna it's like that joan of arc moment um that i think a lot of us are maybe feeling right now i've been feeling that kind of that energy pulsing through a lot where it's just like you said earlier where you're sort of looking around and it's like (laughs) this isn't happening fast enough for me I, you know, like this isn't, it, my kids are about school age. My kid, you know, like it, it, whatever, like many, many examples we could insert there, but it's just like, this isn't, you know, I see the potential of all of us. And um, yeah, so uh, thanks for sharing that with me because it's been, um, whew, it's just been up for me just seeing you like teach magic to like the people and to like but you're not giving them wisdom you're helping them access them it within themselves yeah. and then you create this whole like you have like shoulder to shoulder with other people like you're not doing it by yourself you're not a lone pioneer you're not alone like you katie i'm just saying like to you you're not like the lone person doing this sort of like oh and i'm you act like activate this in other people and activate that like courage and excitement and the courage to ask the question and to like commit to it and then mm-hmm. I'm like just seeing you right now like teaching for sure. 
sharing, even just sharing your story because that activates the codes within yeah. somebody to even ask the question like, well, how can I access this? And like, why do I want, you know? Um, yeah. But that's so powerful. <gasps> yeah, I love, I love that so much. And yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and like magic in a grounded, um, in, our, in our like new, re- I don't know. It just feels... Really grab well, I do think I do think it's really powerful to see that it's already happening. Yeah. And there's that something is- about that that makes it very real and makes it very grounded and makes it like, well, why not me? Yeah. You know? Why not, you know, why not? And so, um, and it's just the answer to that for me, it's just the what we've already talked about, like, well, connecting to why it's happening and you know, just kind of like coming into more commitment and integrity and And that's where, for me, like, I really, I know that getting deeper into just my own personal, like, spiritual practices are going to really assist with that. So I've been, like, deepening into Qigong and different, like, things where I'm just, like, okay, like, coming in and kind of holding myself um, and, like, really also, like, really clearing my feels very frequently so I don't hold on to any of this because I very much want this to just move through me. I don't want to hold on to anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for seeing me and all of that. It's like, this feels really good. <laughs> You're like lioness. You're just like, I love it. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 And I think like just one last piece and I, we're, we're going to, I know we're going to wrap up, but what you were saying, like, even if you don't have the full why, I think it can be really um, empowering to realize like the disillusionment kind of dissolving and even stirring up some anger can be really healthy and like, like this is happening right now. This is like, and so kind of the like, whoa, well let me train like kind of with myself. Like, let me get, let me do that because it's like, it's real and Mm. it's accessible and so the rage can help fuel um, that fire until you deepen in like yeah. deeper, but it can, it can help jumpstart, I guess, the, yeah. the, like even wanting to do it. Yeah. You know, like that rage, like the healthy, it's healthy and it can help light the fire to get you to like begin. Yes. And so I think. I think so. It's so. Healthy to feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that we all have that, like, really deep um, connection to justice. Yeah. Like, I think that we all share that, you know, really, really bonds us, you know. Um, and, and, but to, like, get there at this point, like, where we are, there's definitely rage to walk through before there's that, like, um, not... Uh, like a uh, super reactive state of being, which is not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in being like very laser clear and composed. Yeah. And like articulate and excellent in, in what, in that range. So it's that there's like a combination uh, that I'm sort of, that I'm like, I'm really feeling into right now. That, um, and you know what, by the way, also, like, I also want to take a moment and, like, honor, like, the wild woman, like, rah, you know, just, like, completely, like, ripping open and just, like, screaming. It's fine. Like, I'm also, like, on board with that, too, you know? <laughs> but I, I'm, and I've done that, and I've been that, like, even just, like, yesterday had, like, something that happened, I'll share with you, like, another time, but this, like, I had to speak up and I had to raise my voice and I had, you know, and it was like not polite, you know, like I was not polite. And, um, and there's like ways that I'm like looking back on that. I'm like, I could have done better there, but like, that's fine. Um, so anyway, but there's this, like, there's the place I can see where I want to be and that I'm like walking towards where it's like, okay, I've got all of my rage and I've got all of my feelings and I've got everything that's with me right now, but I know like I'm clear on my destination. I'm not going to get distracted by anything that could come in and sort of like spin this, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's like a big part of 
magic is like that kind of discipline and clarity. Um, because I think the more that I step into that, like the bigger the, the energy can be. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so that's, so like, there. yeah. I'm just seeing like the, but like the rage, like, you know how a tornado and a storm build and build and build. And then once it really, you are able to release it and like, let it go too. It doesn't yes. keep killing you. Like yes. there's a, I think there's a time and place to like, like when you're saying I'm like gathering my, yeah. But I also was hearing it like, and like the grace to let it like release yeah. it when it's fine. Yeah. And I'm wondering, I'm having this really interesting feeling of the earth and like earth yeah. changes. And yeah. like, if we actually harness this energy and are able to feel it and move things with it in the physical reality by speaking and doing things, yeah, and actually channel that energy and then integrate it, I wonder if we won't need as massive earth shifts mm -hmm. as I felt. And like, they're changing. And so maybe it's like, we also can help stabilize earth energy by like being yeah. able to, like if we're not, she's holding space to kind of like, uh, or we're, she's holding space for us. And if we don't step into the energy, it's like, well, it's going to be released somehow. Right. And so yeah. we able to do that ourselves. Yes. That, and like, or like, and it's not good or bad, but I'm just seeing like, this could really, I don't know, like that piece is coming in yeah. with the earth and the connection with the earth and how yeah. we can just yeah. make some volcanoes. But yet if we are able to actually hold that rage and that energy and that storm, and we're able to move things and speak and change. Yeah. And then we're able to like release and let go and be the soft rain after the storm. Yes. We do not need the soft, like, <gasps> need be. Yeah. It could change. Yeah. Yeah. The way things happen. Yeah. So for me, like, right. So one, I'm like, talk that's like so helpful and like, getting into qigong for me has been really helpful too because that's where i feel like i'm and being in sedona yeah um i just feel like i have to be so and just i don't know all of this just who i am i'm just like i have to clear i can't hold this i don't want to hold it i don't yeah. want to carry it yeah yeah um, that's it. That's it. you know like there was this great quote i heard by somebody on Insta i don't know who it was but it's like it's fine to like, of course we care, but we don't carry, like we don't carry this around. And that's very much my, like, <laughs> don't want to carry this. Um, I don't need to carry this. Right. But when it's like time to be present, then I can kind of alchemize it through yes. my embodiment. And so that's definitely like the, yeah, that's a big focus for me personally right now. Otherwise, I feel like I, like, honestly, like, that I could hurt myself, that I could just, like, I could get into a place of just, like, it's not healthy, um, frankly. Like, I just, <laughs> um, I don't want to hold on to any of it. It's, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, that's. You're so articulate. I really like love how well you can articulate yourself and a point you're trying to make, and you could really let it come through very clearly. Oh, and Jesse, it's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, especially something like this. I'm like, that's just like <laughs> so good. Really, because I can feel and but sometimes I have a difficult time articulating what I'm trying to say, and I'll say it like five times trying to get it through. Yeah, but you can just like. <laughs> thank you so i will receive that thank you it's fun it's good mm. all right yeah uh is there anything else you want to like weave in to today no <laughs> that's a lot when you were talking sometimes i would see like you would say certain things and i would see like different colors or like different like some like different like just really beautiful and coming back to like how supported we are and just like, it's like, yes, 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 yeah. yes. 
Yes. I want to extend my deepest gratitude that you watched our video today, that you watched today's episode. Please share these videos. And it would just be so helpful if you could take a moment and like and subscribe so you don't miss any other episodes or other videos that are coming out around these topics. It would mean so much to me. I'm so grateful to have you here. I hope you have a beautiful day.